Richard David Bryars, CBE was an English actor. His 50-year career encompassed television, stage, film and radio. Bryars first came to prominence as George Starling in Marriage Lines, but it was a decade later, when he narrated Rhubarb and Noah and Nelly in Skylark and when he played Tom Good in the BBC sitcom The Good Life, that he became a household name. Later, he starred as Martin in ever-decreasing circles, and he had a leading role as Hector in Monarch of the Glen. From the late 1980s, with Kenneth Branagh as director, he performed Shakespearean roles. Early life, Bryars was born in Rains Park, Surrey, the son of Joseph Benjamin Bryars and Mourner Phyllis. He was the first cousin once removed of actor Terry Thomas. He spent his childhood in Rains Park in a flat in Peeps Court behind the now demolished Rialto Cinema, and after in Guildford. His father drifted between jobs, while his mother wished for a show business career. She went on to become a member of Equity. Mourner was also a pianist and a successful drama and music teacher. Briars attended Roke by School in Kingston upon Thames, Surrey, and the Ridgeway School in Wimbledon, which he left at the age of 16 without any formal qualifications. Early career Briars' first job was a clerical post with a London cable manufacturer, and for a short time he went to evening classes to qualify in electrical engineering, but soon left and became a filing clerk. At the age of 18, he was called up for two years national service in the RAF, during which he was a filing clerk at RAF Northwood, where he met future George and Mildred actor Brian Murphy. Murphy introduced Briars, who had been interested in acting since the age of 14, to the Dramatic Society at the Borough Polytechnic Institute, now London South Bank University, where he performed in several productions. When he left the RAF he studied at RADA, which he attended from 1954 to 1956. Placed in a class with both Peter O'Toole and Albert Finney, Briars later credited Academy Director John Fennell with nurturing his talent. Graduating from RADA with a silver medal, he won a scholarship with the Liverpool Repertory Company, and after 15 months moved to the Belgrade Theatre in Coventry for six months. He made his West End debut in the Duke of York's Theatre 1959 production of Guilt and Gingerbread by Lionel Hale. Television career In 1961, Briars was cast in the leading role in Marriage Lines with Brunella Scales playing his wife. In between the pilot and the series itself, Briars appeared in Brothers in Law as callow barrister Roger Thursby in 1962. He was cast in this role by adapters Frank Muir and Dennis Norton, who had seen him in the West End. His other early appearances included The Seven Faces of Jim with Jimmy Edwards, Dixon of Doc Green, a production of Noel Coward's Hay Fever and The Storyteller in several episodes of Jack Cannery. In the 1980s he played several Shakespearean roles, including Twelfth Night. Briars was featured twice on the Thames television show This Is Your Life in May 1972 and March 1994. In a role specifically written for him by John Esmond and Bob Larby, Briars was cast in the lead role in The Good Life, playing Tom Good, a draftsman who decides, on his 40th birthday, to give up his job and try his hand at self-sufficiency, with the support of his wife Barbara, played by Felicity Kendall. Briars persuaded the producers to cast his friend Paul Eddington, a fellow council member of Equity, in the role of Jerry. An enormously successful series, the last episode in 1978 was performed in front of Queen Elizabeth II. In 1977, he starred with his The Good Life co-star Penelope Keith in the televised version of Alan Akeburn's trilogy The Norman Conquests. He also starred as Ralph in 13 episodes of The Other One with Michael Gambon. During the 1980s and 1990s, Briars had leading roles in several television shows, including Goodbye, Mr. Kent, a rare failure also featuring Hannah Gordon, the lead role of Martin Bryce in Ever Decreasing Circles, and as Godfrey Spry in the BBC comedy drama If You See God, Tell Him. He also starred in All in Good Faith, Tales of the Unexpected, and Mr. Bean. In 1987, he appeared as the principal villain in the Doctor Who serial Paradise Towers, a performance which was described by Radio Times writer Patrick Mulkern as Briar's career low. In 1995 he played the character Tony Fairfax in the BBC comedy Down to Earth. 
in the Inspector Morse episode Death is Now My Neighbor, he played the evil master of Lawnsdale College, Sir Clixby Bream. Stage work, Briars spent much of his career in the theatre, including appearances in plays by Shakespeare and George Bernard Shaw. In 1967, one of his earliest successes was playing alongside Michael Hordron and Celia Johnson in the London production of Alan Ake Burns Relatively Speaking. After a long career in television sitcom, and looking to expand his career, his daughter Lucy took him to Stratford-upon-Avon to watch Kenneth Brenner in Henry V. After meeting Brenner backstage after the performance, Brenner offered Briars the role of Malvolio in the Renaissance Theatre Company production of Twelfth Night. Briars joined the company, and went on to play title parts in King Lear and Uncle Vanya. Briars also appeared in many of Brenner's films, including Henry V. Much Ado About Nothing and Hamlet. The theatre production of Twelfth Night was adapted for television, with Briars reprising his role as Malvolio. In 2010, Briars played in the Royal National Theatre revival of Dion Boucicault's London Assurance, alongside Simon Russell Beale and Fiona Shaw. A performance of this was broadcast live to cinemas round the world as part of the NT Live programme. Film Briars made his film debut in 1960 British feature film Bottoms Up. He then took parts in Murder She Said, The Girl on the Boat, A Matter of WHO, The VIPS, and Rachel Welch's spy spoof Fathom. He latterly appeared in Michael Winner's A Chorus of Disapproval and the 2002 film Unconditional Love as well as the 1998 Kenneth Brennan adaptation of Much Ado About Nothing, where he played the role of Leonardo. His last film was Cockneys vs. Zombies. Radio and voice work, he was a familiar voice actor. Briars narrated the animated children's TV program Rhubarb. Originally shown on BBC One just before the evening news, each five-minute cartoon was written by Grange Carvely and produced by Bob Godfrey. He was the original voice actor for an Oddy TV series based on the Enid Blitton character, and then another series with Godfrey, Noah and Nelly in. Skylark. He also provided the voice of Fiverr in the animated film adaptation of Watership Down. In the 90s he voiced the part of Mouse, opposite Alan Bennett's Mole in the TV series Mouse and Mole, based on books by Joyce Dunbar and James Mayhew. He latterly starred alongside Neil Morrissey in Bob the Builder as Bob's dad, Robert to his credit. Briars also featured in the television series adaptation of Watership Down this time voicing a series-exclusive character called Captain Broom, and was one of the very few actors who stayed for all three series. His work in radio included playing Dr. Simon Sparrow in BBC Radio 4's adaptions of Richard Gordon's Doctor in the House and Doctor at Large, and a retired thespian in a series of six plays with Stanley Baxter Two Pipe Problems, and later the play Not Talking, commissioned for BBC Radio 3 by Mike Bartlett. In 1986 he narrated Radio 4's Oh Yes It Is, a history of pantomime written by Gerald Fro. Between 1973 and 1981, Briars played Bertie Wooster in several adaptations of the P.G. Oldhouse novels with Michael Hordren as Jeeves. Briars narrated numerous commercials, including adverts for the Midland Bank in which he was the voice of the company's Griffin symbol. Between 1984 and 1986 he made a series of commercials for the Ford Sierra done in a sitcom style portraying the Sierra as one of the family. Briars narrated the public information film Francis the Firefly, about the dangers of playing with matches, firstly in the mid-1990s when first made, and then in the early 2000s when remade by the government fire safety campaign Fire Kills. He also recorded the voice of a sat-nav specifically designed for senior citizens in the BBC Two a Euro unregistered trademark S hit TV show Top Gear, Season 19, Episode 5, which aired only a week after his death. Later career, after 1990, he appeared in Lovejoy, Inspector Morse, Midsummer Murders, Doctors, New Tricks, Kingdom, and If You See God, Tell Him. Richard Bryer starred as Hector in the first three series of Monarch of the Glen from 2000 to 2002, a role which saw him return to the limelight. He contributed Sonnet 55 to the 2002 compilation album, When Love Speaks, which features famous actors and musicians interpreting Shakespeare's sonnets and play excerpts. In 2005, 
he appeared alongside Kevin Waitley in Dad, a TV film made by BBC Wales exploring issues of elder abuse. In 2006, he made an appearance in an episode of Extras, and portrayed the servant Adam in Kenneth Branagh's 2006 Shakespeare adaptation, As You Like It. He made a cameo appearance as a dying recluse in the 2008 Torchwood episode A Day in the Death. On December 17, 2000, Briars was the guest on BBC Radio for a Euro unregistered trademark S Desert Island Discs. Among his musical choices were De Quella Pyra from Il Trovatore by Giuseppe Verdi, I Feel a Song Coming on by Al Jolson and On the Sunny Side of the Street by Louis Armstrong. His favourite piece was the organ concerto in F Major The Cuckoo and the Nightingale by George Friedrich Handel. In 2012 he featured in the comedy horror film Cockneys vs Zombies. Personal life, Briars met Anne Davis while both were at Liverpool Representative Davis was employed as a stage manager, and had acted on television and in films from the mid-1950s. Soon after meeting, he borrowed a five pounds from his mother, bought an engagement ring and they were married within six months. They had two daughters, one of whom, Lucy, is also an actress. Kate has worked in stage management, and is a primary school teacher. Briars and his friend Paul Eddington shared a similar sense of humor, and knew each other before being cast in The Good Life. After Eddington was diagnosed with skin cancer, Briars accepted a role opposite him in David Story's play Home in 1994 agreeing to take on all of the publicity interviews to allow Eddington time for his treatment. At Eddington's memorial service, Briars read both from Cymerline and P.G. Oldhouse. He later read chapters from Eddington's autobiography on BBC Radio 4. As a result of Terry Thomas's Parkinson's, Briars became president of Parkinson's UK. He also helped to launch a Sense National Deaf Blind and Rubella Association campaign. Briars was also a non-medical patron of the TOFS charity, which supports children and the families of children born unable to swallow. Interviewed by the Daily Telegraph in 2008, Briars admitted that, whilst on holiday, he enjoyed being recognized, saying, he a Euro unregistered trademark and gregarious by nature, so I love chatting to people. It really cheers me up. Briars was a keen visitor of Britain's historic churches and visited over 100 for his book English Country Churches which was published in 1988. From his national service in the RAF, he was a supporter for a national memorial for RAF Bomber Command. Briars was appointed OBE in 1989, and CBE in 2003. Death, in an interview with the Daily Mail on January 31, 2013. Briars stated that he had smoked about half a million cigarettes before he quit. According to Lucy Briars, his daughter, he quit instantly in 2001 after a routine chest X-ray suggested he would otherwise soon be in a wheelchair. He was diagnosed with emphysema in 2007. He died at his home in London on February 17, 2013 from the effects of a cardiac arrest. Tributes the BBC referred to him as one of Britain's best-loved actors. Sir Kenneth Brunner paid tribute to him, saying, He was a national treasure, a great actor and a wonderful man. He was greatly loved and he will be deeply missed. Briars's agent, Christopher Farrar, said, Richard was a wonderful man, a consummate professional and an absolute joy to work alongside. Following his recent discussion of his battle with emphysema, I know he was incredibly touched by the strength of support expressed by friends and the public. Fellow television star Penelope Keith said, He was always courteous, always generous and always self-deprecating adding, He was also such a clever actor that he made you feel secure. You believed he was who he was portraying on the screen or on the stage. I just think of Richard and smile. Writing in The Guardian, Critic Michael Coveney described Briars as always the most modest and self-deprecating of actors, and the sweetest of men, and noted, although he excelled in the plays of Alan Akeburn, and became a national figure in his television sitcoms of the 1970s and 80s, notably The Good Life, he could mine hidden depths on stage, giving notable performances in Ibsen, Chekhov and, for Kenneth Brenner's Renaissance Company, Shakespeare. On March 30, 2013, BBC Two broadcast an hour-long review of Briar's life and career, with tributes from many friends and colleagues. 
equals ever increasing wonder equals, on Christmas Day 2013, BBC Radio 4 Extra broadcast a day of tribute to Briars titled Ever Increasing Wonder, with a variety of his BBC Radio recordings, many of them introduced by those who knew him and worked with him. Guest speakers included, Prunella Scales Stephen Ferry, Michael Chaplin, Alan Bennett, Michael Ball, Kenneth Brunner, Dramatis S. Harris, Briars's widow and Davis and their daughters, programs included, Brothers-in-Law, Doctor in the House, Marriage Lines, Largo Desolato, What Ho! Jeeves, Joy in the Morning, The Wind in the Willows, Al Jones's Interview of Briars. Selected Filmography, Girls at Sea, Bottoms Up, The Girl on the Boat, Murder, She Said, A Matter of WHO, Doctor in Distress, The VIPS's Meteorological Official, the Bargy, Fathom, All the Way Up, Rookery Nook, Rent a Dick, Rhubarb, The Good Life, Watership Down, The Other One, Ever Decreasing Circles, A Chorus of Disapproval, Henry V. Peter's Friends, Much Ado About Nothing, If You See God, Tell Him, Frankenstein A Midwinter's Tale, Hamlet, Spice World, Love's Labor's Lost, Monarch of the Glen, Unconditional Love, Peter Pan, As You Like It, Run for Your Wife, Cockneys vs. Zombies, Top Gear. References External links Richard Bryars at the Internet Movie Database, Richard Bryars at BFI Screen Online.